Hi, it's Elizabeth with the Weekly Tasting. Thanks so much for getting this pack easy drinking reds. So when we think about reds, we often think of the bold, big, brawny wines, the wines that are very filling and keep you warm, but there are a lot of reds that are lovely, light, and luscious, and we have four of them right here in this pack. They're lighter style reds that are easy to drink, they're tasty, and some of them are really complex, and all of them are great accompaniments to lighter style food, but with low tannin and higher acidity and a smooth, soft texture, they're also great sippers. So I would recommend chilling each one of these for 20 minutes before you have them. They'll definitely taste better, the flavors will really shine. So what do we have in the pack? We have two Pinot Noirs, these are great, they're both screw caps. You can open them really easily and taste them side by side over the course of a few nights to see how they evolve. The Santa Barbara County Pinot Noir is going to be earthy, it will be light, it's gonna have some complexity to it, really high acidity, certainly lighter in style than the Sacred Hill Pinot from Marlboro, New Zealand, which is bolder in fruit, it's also a little bit earthy. It's simpler though and plusher. Try the two together, you're gonna to be able to see how region and land affects this really finicky grape. We have a Chinon from the Loire Valley, a cooler area, so we're gonna get cherry notes. It's elegant, it's got a soft texture, a perfect week, weeknight sipper. It's enjoyed in the bistros in Paris for its simplicity and ease with food. And then finally, a Chena from Beaujolais in the southern part of Burgundy. This wine is from a very rare and small area, a Cru Beaujolais, one of the top growing areas in Beaujolais. It has such complexity. It's got spice and fruit and woodsy notes and it's got a balance of force and lightness to it. It's my favorite of the pack. I could drink the whole bottle. It's definitely easy drinking for me. So these wines are gonna provide an alternative to those bold, tannic, alcoholic wines and really show you the elegance and nuance of red. So let's get to tasting. I think you're gonna love these wines. This wine is the Año Verde Green Year Green Label from Santa Barbara County. It's an awesome Pinot Noir from 2015. Santa Barbara is such a fantastic place for Pinot. It's my favorite place for Pinot Noir in California. Here the mountains turn east-west and they suck in cool air off of the Pacific Ocean like a funnel. So an area that's pretty far south and pretty warm that maybe might not normally be able to grow a grape that likes cooler weather is completely able to grow this grape because of this cooling effect from these valleys and from the Pacific Ocean. It's my favorite, like I said, area for Pinot Noir in California. Let's take a look at this wine. It's a really lovely color. It's kind of a, a brownish red raspberry color. Notice that it's not too dark, so sometimes these wines can be picked over ripe or they can add Merlot or Syrah. They're allowed to add up to 25% other grapes to kind of give it a little bit of heft. This is pure Pinot, pure deliciousness. Let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Smells so great for Pinot. Really a very classic Santa Barbara Pinot Noir. It's got some red raspberry, it has dried strawberry, a little bit of red currant in it. So if you think about like currant bread or those kinds of things. The interest in this wine is that there's some soy sauce notes to it. So it has this sort of salty, earthy, savory thing going on. Really interesting. Let's taste it and see if it's got it on the palate. Yep, it does. <laughs> it tastes like red fruit. It's got that soy. There's some oak influence here. The wine's been aged in a barrel for about 11 months and you can taste some of that smoky oakiness, but it doesn't overpower the fruit at all. The fruit is still shining and really beautiful. Little bit tannic, complex wine, especially for you know just a regular Santa Barbara County. There's some sub appellations where you usually get some of this complexity and awesome wine. You can contrast this one with the bolder style, yet simpler style from New Zealand. They're both Pinots, but they are pretty different. And this wine's gonna go well with salmon, goat cheese, grilled asparagus. You can have it with ham or charcuterie. They're both awesome wines. I hope you try these together and see which style you like, whether you like them both. But either way, they are both easy drinking reds and I just love this Anya Verde. I think you will too. This lovely easy drinking red 
is the Sacred Hill Pinot Noir 2014 from Marlboro, New Zealand. Now when we think Marlboro, New Zealand, we think Sauvignon Blanc, but Pinot is just as prestigious in New Zealand as Sauvignon Blanc. In fact, plantings of this grape have doubled in the last 10 years, and I only see that increasing. Why? Because the cooler weather, but abundant sunshine here and the rolling hills make this ideal for Pinot Noir. It gives it a really long growing season, allows it to gather complexity. It's really tasty on its own or with food. It's a great balance and compromise between earth and fruit as we're gonna taste in the Sacred Hill Pinot. So let's take a look at the color. It's kind of a dark raspberry color and it's still transparent, which to me is a really good sign in a Pinot Noir because it means it wasn't picked when it was overripe, which is often the case with Pinots where people are really trying to make these large overblown styles in my opinion. So we'll give it a spin around the glass and a sniff. It's totally classic New Zealand Pinot Noir. Now what is that? It's a lot of red fruit, red cherry, strawberry, it's got red raspberry, just this bright fruit, a little bit of floral aromatics, some earth, let's taste. Mm. So it's just an easy going sipper. It's got cherry and red fruit, a little bit of beet flavor, it's that earthiness or root vegetable note to it. Great acidity, lower tannin, it's fruity, it's medium bodied, it's kind of simple but very delicious. And you can contrast this slightly bolder style with the lighter, maybe a little bit more complex style from Santa Barbara County and see which one you like best or whether you like them both. But it's great, they're both easy drinking wines, same grape, totally different climates, really different flavors. Have this with stuff that's like root vegetables, like beetroot or mushrooms. You can have it with seared tuna, pork and fruit glazes or fruit sauces. This is an awesome wine. I bet New Zealand becomes one of your favorite new Pinot sippers. I am so in love with this wine. This is the Pascal Offrand Chenin Beaujolais. Vigne de 1939, I don't know how to say that in French, but the vines are from 1939, so old vines. Chena is one of the crew Beaujolais, so there's Beaujolais, there's Beaujolais Nouveau, there's Beaujolais Village, and then there's these 10 towns called the Cru Beaujolais, and these towns have much higher quality, very distinctive characteristics. Chena is really special, and we're so lucky to have this in the pack because it's 585 acres, it's one square mile, just 100 growers, they make about 125,000 cases in a good year. Any big brand that you see on store shelves makes way more than that. So this is like the whole area, so very rare. It's known as a spray of flowers in a basket of velvet. That's its description. It was a favorite wine of Louis XIII in the 18th century, so we're kind of drinking a royal favorite. It's certainly one of my favorites too. So let's take a look at the color. It's a darker purple color, a red purple color. It's 2016, a young wine, and Gamay tends to be very pigmented in color, so it's no surprise here. Let's give it a swirl and a sniff. It's just these intense complex aromas. So let me break it down, because this is the way it is. There's a cherry note that underlies the whole thing, and then there are these really complex aromas layered on top. So like, Indian spice, so think about chai tea, which has cardamom and cinnamon and nutmeg in it, or, or things that sort of seem like that or smell like that. It has a little bit of a graham cracker note to it. I have kids, so I really know what graham crackers smell like. Sandalwood, and then um, it's just so complex, you keep smelling this all night. So let's taste it. Cherry is there, but you've got this really nice warm spice, the black pepper. You have a bit of orange to it. Dark floral notes also, so you get that flower. And then it is velvety, it has great acidity, but it has low tannin. It's soft and velvety. At first it's, it's just light, and then the complexity of the flavors hit you. It's still easy drinking, but it is complex. I think this wine is very dangerous because I just wanted to drink the whole bottle when I had a sip. But it does go really well with food, so don't miss that opportunity. Aged hard cheeses, you could have it with steak if you wanted to. Roast chicken or fish or anything with tarragon, that herb will go really well with this wine. 
uh, portini mushroom pasta would be awesome with this. Really anything would be. This is my favorite wine of the pack. I just love it. I hope you do too. This lovely wine is from Chinon in the Loire Valley of France, in the northern part of France. It's a town that was chosen as a site for royal residences, and those royal palaces still stand today, so it's a pre pretty big tourist attraction. But the wine here, which is based on Cabernet Franc, it can have up to 10% Cabernet Sauvignon in it, is known as a bistro sipper in Paris. It's not located too far away from Paris, and it's refreshing and light to medium bodied, very fruity, food friendly. The Domaine de la Olive Old Vine Chinon is a fantastic example of this lighter style Chinon, which can sometimes come in a more serious style, but usually is a little bit lighter. It, it really does depend on the soil on which the, the grape is grown, but Cabernet Franc can be very light or can be kind of earthy. This one is on the lighter side. Let's look at the color. It's a red raspberry color, so a really lovely bright color, and we'll give it a swirl and a sniff. The wine is really a lot of cherry, red cherry, and sour cherry aromas. It just smells so pleasant and fruity. Let's taste. So this is a version of Cabernet Franc that is just grown on lighter soils because here we have some earthy notes, but the wine is mainly bright and cherry flavored. It's got some light tannin. It has a really zippy acidity, bright acidity. It has a soft texture. This is so drinkable. It's such an easy drinking wine. You wanna grab a crusty baguette and some cheese on a weeknight, pop and pour. This is it. You know, like I said, really nice with lighter fare. You can have it with mushroom risotto. You can have it with a vegetable tort with eggplant or zucchini, grilled salmon or chicken with maybe some beets, grilled steak if you want to go a little crazy with the caramelized shallots, that would be really nice with this wine. Either way, that or just pop and pour, it's a delightful, easy drinking red. So that's it. Those are our four amazing easy drinking reds. I hope that you enjoyed this pack, that you'll offer us feedback on the wines and that you'll check back on Monday for the next available pack.